I always find it very uplifting and inspiring to read through the list of the Australia Day Award recipients, to see if there's so many stories of people giving of themselves for their communities, for Australia at large, so many different industries, people giving of their time day in, day out for years to try and make the world a little bit better. Now, I know there was controversy around the, some of the recipients and certainly that, will be, that needs to be addressed and I know that it's been looked into. But I was thinking about this concept of you know, recognizing somebody for what they've done, acknowledging the time, the commitment, the efforts they've put in for the community. And it's certainly consistent with Jewish concepts, the concept of Akarat HaTov, appreciating, being thankful to someone who's done you a tova, who's done you some goodness. But I heard people saying this year and over the years, you know, why do they give certain people awards? These people are paid to do their job. Many of the recipients are being thanked for professions that they work in. And someone would say, why do we need to recognize them? You know, if this is their job, this is what they're being paid to. They're getting a salary for this. It's a good question. But there's a very beautiful answer, which I think we can find in our parish this week, the parish of Bishalach. There's a wonderful minhag, a wonderful custom that on Parashat Bashalach we take breadcrumbs and we put them in our garden to give the birds to eat. We want to thank the birds. Now what are we thanking them for? So our Torah tells us in this week's parsha that when the manna was falling from heaven, a beautiful thing that the Jewish people received in the desert, we are told that they were said that they should not go out to collect the manna on Shabbat because Hashem said on Shabbat we rest, there will be no manna falling from the sky on Shabbat. Instead they would have to collect double portion on Friday. Datan and Aviram, two of the villains, decide they're going to try and trick the Jewish people and try and desecrate God, desecrate the leader Moses. And so they came early in the morning and took breadcrumbs from the day before and scattered it, hoping that the Jewish people would see this and say, Ah, you see, Moses lied. This is all false. And of course, they would rebel against God. It says the birds came and ate up all the crumbs before the Jewish people woke up, thereby saving anyone to doubt that what Hashem told them was in fact correct. Now, the question you could ask is, because of this, we now thank the birds. What did they do? They didn't do anything special. <laughs> they did what birds do. You throw crumbs out, they come and eat it. This is their nature. Why do they deserve any type of recognition? And our sages teach us when someone does something good for you, it's irrelevant what their motivation was. Whether they're being paid to do it, whether they're doing it voluntarily, whether it's their nature to do such a thing. What happened to you is the most important question. Did something good happen to you by the hand of another person? That is worthy of recognition. And of course, many of those recipients on this Australia Day Awards are not getting paid. And even if they are getting paid, they're going beyond the call of duty. But even if it is within their realm of their work, of their paid work, never underestimate, as the Torah teaches us, if someone has done something good for you, it is worthy of recognition, it is worthy of saying thank you. And so as we go about life, there are going to be many different people who do us something good. Whether they're getting paid for it or not, it's up to us to understand that concept, to recognize the concept of Akara Tov, to say thank you, to acknowledge, to appreciate. And so hopefully in doing so, we'll inspire more and more people because when you do thank somebody for helping you, I think it inspires them to want to do more good. And of course that will spread goodness and kindness throughout our world. Wishing you a Shabbat Shalom and a wonderful weekend ahead.